been a little while since the last video, right, Momo? I just took her out for a morning shit and piss, and she's feeling good now. She knows I'm leaving for the gym soon, so she's like trying to like coerce me into staying in the bedroom. Just petting her head all day. This this is ideal day for Coda. Maybe some like playing with the ball and running around and stuff, but mostly mostly just this. So actually, I don't think I've actually officially announced. <laughs> I'm so bad with this stuff, but I don't think I officially announced my partnership with Gorilla. So I'm just gonna say right now. Um, I'm sure you guys have heard of Gorilla Mind. They decided to hook me up and sponsor me. First, I just want to go over a couple of the supplement stacks and things that I'm using uh, from Gorilla that I find like you know useful. The Gorilla Mind Smooth, which is like a neurotropic a dream, which is you know sleep sleep aid. It helps me reset my sleep schedule. Uh, two, 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 oh my God, two milligrams of instant release melatonin, and then two milligrams of like a sustained release. So over time, so four. four Four milligrams total. Oh my God, I can't talk, I'm like out of breath too. Like I could do all this cardio, but I can't like record a YouTube segment. Like, uh. I don't know, I got some sleep issues and I find it's really good. Also has zinc magnesium in it and a bunch of other products. There's a bunch of other products in it as well. Um, and the Gorilla Mode Energy, I really like this because it is a just a stimulant. So it's not like the mode where it has pump and stimulant and nitric where it only has pump. It, this is just, this is a good combination with nitric when you want to be a little more specific with how much caffeine you're taking. Um, it's just a stimulant. The ingredient list is pretty short, but it's sweet. Works well. So, like, you know, if you want to have, like, some low stim days, you know, take a scoop. If you want to have some high stim days, take two. If you want to just be normal, what I normally do is two scoops Gorilla Mode, one scoop nitric. That's currently what I have in my pre-workout shaker right now. Gorilla is awesome, they sponsored me. Oh, I forgot to mention the ECAs, BCAs, whatever. Uh, I've used these in the past, not Gorillas, but BCAs in general in the past. And I've always liked them, but you know, people would always tell me like, it's a waste of money. To be honest, I think, you know, I have better workouts, better pumps, and I'm more hydrated when I'm drinking ECAs, so. I'm gonna continue to use them, I don't give a fuck. Yeah, if you guys do ever, buy anything from gorilla i highly recommend it their pre-workout is fucking good if you know if you're not sure what to get you know if all these options are too much try out gorilla mode tell me what you think and when you like it then i would recommend like you know uh getting like nitric as well and then you can like take two scoops of this one of this the pump man and then you know you can go even further beyond and get gorilla mind smooth for like days you want like super fucking hyper focus in the gym to pop like two of these before you go in like you are right on point. Yeah, Gorilla was really, really cool to hook me up with, um, you know, a little sponsorship deal. I know it's been a little while since I've had a supplement sponsorship. And that's mostly because, you know, I don't fuck with supplement companies, man. HP Labs tried to pull me on and they were like, you know, giving me this cringy, like, you gotta push our and, You know, they wouldn't even send me out like any of their, any of their products until I signed with them. I don't know, like cringy stuff like that, it just makes me like dislike supplement companies so, so much. It's nice to have like, you know, a supplement company behind my back that I like, you know, I like their products and shit, so, yeah. So, I had a bowl of cereal, about like two cups of uh, Cocoa Pebbles, a uh, protein shake and a banana, and uh, normally I'm training by around one o'clock, so it's 12.45 right now. I wanna be in the gym by like one, you know, 1.15. Cause I want to be out by like three, four o'clock cause the gym gets like super, super busy around then. It's just, you know, annoying. So also pack me some Rice Krispie treats down in there. If you can see that. Mm -hmm. All right, Momo. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So as you can tell, I got new wheels for the Subi. Um, I was considering trading her in for a little while, but I, uh, you know, I hit, I hit a screw and I got a fucking, I was going to replace all four tires anyways. And, you know, two of my stock wheels are like curb rashed a little bit. So I was like, ah, fuck it. So I just got new wheels and uh, some winter tires. So I should be good for the winter given I don't hit like another screw, but for now, I'm not gonna like blow too much money on the car because uh, 
I'm still not sure if I'm gonna sell it, so. Depending on, you know, what happens and where I wanna go, if I wanna have a truck or SUV or something, or, you know, if I knock someone up and, you know, I need to get a family car, <laughs> yeah, shit can happen, man. So, uh, <laughs> let's hope not that, though. Leg, today's a leg day. Uh, I believe I have, actually, I should just check my program. I've been, <laughs> I've been going through IG, looking at a bunch of memes, making myself laugh in my apartment parking lot. So I should be doing this in the gym parking lot. It's one o'clock, I'm already behind schedule. Fuck! Man. To the gym. Today is a pretty easy squat. We're gonna be doing a low bar. I haven't squatted low bar in about four months, five months. It's pretty much since the entire time I've been getting back into training, I have not been squatting low bar, so. Sorry, there's dog hair on the mic. We're gonna be doing low bar, 315, 225 felt just like nothing. Um, form felt great, so we're gonna see how 315 feels, and then we're gonna work into my two by six. Uh, really quick leg day today, as far as squats go. Um, and then, uh, actually, there's like a little more grueling leg work to come, but the squats at least are quick. Yeah, walking lunges, leg curls, front, front squats. I hate front squats, but I'm forcing myself to do it because I need quad development. And then upright rows and chest press. Uh, I'm trying to grow my chest, which I've been seeing a good response from. Uh, I've upped my chest volume from 18 sex, sets a week. Oh my God, 18 sets a week to 22. And uh, I've been seeing response in the past month. So for four weeks, I've been doing it and I've seen the chest response. I don't know if I'm just like constantly like fuller there or you know, more blood flow, whatever's going on, it's working. just a little bit because uh, I want to feel how four or five feels because I have not touched this weight in probably like two months since I was in Jersey two three months so uh, I just want to it shouldn't feel like anything it should be like an RPE 7 but um, we're gonna give it a touch Could definitely go heavier four or five felt amazing uh but i have been having this like weird like knee pain it's not really bad at all but it's like i can tell it's a little achy about a month ago when i was doing walking lunges and i heard a pop i actually felt and heard a pop in my right knee doing walking lunges and then like it like it was like hurting but like not terrible it was weird it was definitely weird i don't know what's going on with it but pretty much uh it's been like kind of bothering me for the past like month or so so any heavy squats it gets a little weird i even noticed like when i was working up to uh 355 it was feeling like a little strange so i was hesitant to go for four or five but i just know how the weight feels so i did it anyways i don't want to go any heavier than 405 now i'm going to back off to 315 for my last set of six 
So I'm kind of like all over the place right now with what I'm doing, but I'm still hitting my volume. I just, I really wanted to feel for my own confidence what 405 felt like and that, that felt like holding it. I wasn't used to holding it because I haven't felt 405 in a while, but man, that weight just moved. It felt great coming out of the hole. So uh, yeah, I'm gonna hit this last set. So I just finished up walking lunges and uh, leg curls. I didn't feel like recording the walking lunges or leg curls just cause it's like, I can't get a good angle of them. So it'd just be like a floor shot. Um, I don't know, maybe I should anyways. I really need like someone to help, help me record, like hold the camera or something. I've been uh, training alone for like two months and it's like, I wanna record more YouTube videos, but man, it is so fucking annoying to like have a good workout and then also like try to record like every step of the way. So uh, my roommate, Adam, he, uh, he pretty much like works the night shift. He's like up until like five, six in the morning and I'm up at like nine. So um, by the time I'm going to bed, he's getting back from the gym. And then he's like, I don't know what he does at night, but so pretty much like I, I rarely see him. So it's really just like, um, just like me out here, man. Like, I've met a couple people out here, I will say. Like uh, I met a, a friend named Eddie. Eddie G, he, he, he does uh, the, the Way Men series and uh, the, like the, the barbell lations and stuff like that, uh, if you've seen on TikTok. But um, and he's pretty cool. He goes to Big Mountain Marbell, where, where I normally will train. And then um, uh, there's Josh too, Josh Painter, but like he's a Air Force guy, military, you know, he has a busy schedule. So it's like, I really don't see, like, I really don't get to hang out with a lot of these guys. So it's just kind of like been me out here um, by myself for like the first like two months really and like I had like a really rough like first month out here with like a crazy Mormon landlord and uh, like threatening to like euthanize my dog and evict me and shit so it's like I was not having fun man I don't know what this has to do with like someone helping record but pretty much like I haven't had too good of an experience out here and um, I'm just trying to you know meet more people and hopefully someone will help me start recording because it sucks I mean it's a good gym, man. I just need, I just need friends. Yeah, so it's definitely starting to get a little busier in here, so I don't feel like recording as much. Like even like doing this right now makes me feel kind of uncomfortable, but uh, you know, I've been doing this for like seven years, so I should get over it by now, but it always feels kind of weird. But yeah, I did my chest press at like a 30 degree incline over there, but again, like I couldn't really get a good angle, so I just didn't record it. Uh, hanging leg raises right now, and I gotta, sh like I should, I gotta find a clip of like when I first did them, like, two or three months ago, like compared to now, my form has gotten so much better on them. So uh, I'm gonna try to get a quick clip of doing the doing these, just to show progression. So it's not always like, increasing weight is one thing, but like it's finding ways to make a workout harder and then like getting good at doing it harder, you know? Like for me, like even like chest press, like a certain, if when a certain weight becomes super, super easy, I start to widen my grip more and uh, it makes it harder for me because I'm chest lagging most of the time. So a wider grip tends to be a little more difficult than a close narrow grip. I'm just gonna show you the progression I've had on my uh, leg raises. The way the gym is getting like super, super busy so this might be one of like the last clips before it's like overrun by people.
so as you can see, you know, people are still just walking by. I mean, public gym, so you can't really do much about it. And, you know, more and more people are starting to show up, so it is getting, like, more busy as uh, the time goes by. But as far as those leg raises went, it's good. That was my, that was my third set of 10, so it was a little sloppy. But the first set, man, like, every single rep was perfect. Still can't progress back past, like, 10 reps, but the form's getting better, so I count that as progress. So I got a nice... 35 minute session on the elliptical. You can't really see, but <laughs> I, uh, I was going fucking hard for at least like, out of the 35 minutes, I'd say like 10 minutes of it was like like 10 to 12 resistance, five incline, the whole time, at least five incline. But that shit was, uh, I haven't had a 35 minute cardio session in a little bit, but that shit was fucking nice. <sighs> now I'm gonna go hit the sauna chill out for a little bit and then head home so i absolutely <clears throat> oh what am i fuck <laughs> um oh wait i wanted to do a transition with 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 this and i forgot because i went in so i was supposed to come out fuck workout's done um i showered off in the gym i actually hate showering in the gym because uh I feel like it's just fucking creepy, man. I feel like this old guy was like following me to like the showers and then like when I was like rinsing off because I'm like covered in sweat, he like was looking at me as he was walking by. It was just weird, man. I hate driving home because I have like a 20 minute drive home. I hate driving home when I was just like in the sauna and then I'm covered in sweat and then like, you know, it's just, I'm sitting in my own sweat all the way home. So um, I actually brought a bathing suit and a fresh pair of boxers. Uh, this time around so that I don't have to deal with that but still you know showering at the gym is still kind of annoying but you know you get over it but other than that I'm fucking hungry right now uh, part of me wants to like stop somewhere and just get like a small little meal and then go food shopping so uh, I'll show you like what I get like a small little grocery haul um, I'm thinking I know I'm gonna make some ground beef tonight uh, but I want to get some more beef uh, maybe some steak some chicken um, I need to get more veggies. I need to get more milk. I'm good on carbs for the most part. Um, maybe I'll get like a couple packet of, uh, nah, I'm good on carbs for now. So really, I just need some protein sources. Um, I'm really not digging eating eggs in the morning, so I'm trying to think. I, I've been liking Greek yogurt and cottage cheese, so I need to get pretty much, yeah, some lean ground beef, some steak, some cottage cheese, um, and stuff like that, Greek yogurt. So I'm gonna do a, like a little protein grocery haul. Uh, right now. So Coda seems pretty bored. Yeah, Ramul. Uh, I made the last of my steaks that I've had marinating for a couple days. Uh, so hopefully I didn't overcook these this time. The last two times I cooked them, I overcooked them. But these I think are going to be perfect. Just by how they feel, I think that's going to be perfect. I have about two cups of rice right here uh, cooked. So one cup um, uncooked. And I'm gonna have this Diet Dr. Pepper, as well as I don't have any more veggies, so I'm still gonna have to go run to the grocery store and get veggies. But I also have some potatoes in the air fryer right now. I'm really excited about that. I never thought I'd use an air fryer so much, but uh, just, dude, like potato wedges with uh, like sugar-free ketchup, man. I can't, I can't beat it, delicious. Goes great with, uh, steak hey it could have turned out you know worse i think that's pretty good that's you know medium well looks like it i'm sure these other ones are going to be a little pinker but that's just kind of how i like it you know it's not too overcooked yeah so this was cooked very well just pink right in the center i i really dig that i think i did a good job this time finally i finally got you know my my times down i was like uh overcooking a lot i was having it sit in the oven for a little too long actually that reminds me I should turn off the oven real quick. I guess when I go to the store, I'm gonna get some sugar-free ketchup and uh, and uh, some veggies and stuff. Yeah, it's just, dude, I fucking love steak, man. Mmm. Mmm mmm mmm. I don't even need a one for this shit, man. Dude, letting it, like when I first cooked these, marinade was all right the first day. Second day was pretty good, but the third day of marinating, delicious. This is like steak from the same bag of marinade. I've just, you know, been eating it over the past three days. Third day is the best day. I am very fucking hungry because 
I always clean my plates, but like I try to like take the pickle. Bowl. I try to take my time with like eating now because like the slower I eat, the fuller I feel. But you know, these came out well. So this is what I'm talking about. I love the air fryer, man. I got the second batch going right now. I'll probably snack on these throughout the night. Um, I am cutting right now. I don't think I mentioned that, but I am cutting. So I'm trying to like, I'm not, well, yeah, I am cutting. I'm like losing weight, but I'm like kind of like, you know, slowly downtrending. Um, so I'm trying to be like a little more reasonable. Cause dude, like there are some nights I just want to fucking like hammer slam food. And, uh, I haven't been tracking or anything like that. I'm just kind of been eating intuitively and based on like, you know, how much I'm eating, I'm eating about the same things every single day, about the same amount. And then I, um, what's going on with your nose now? I should notice something weird on our nose. Um, but I'm not really tracking, I'm just eating intuitively. I'm eating about the same things every single day and I'm just, you know, like, based on like hunger levels and like how I'm feeling, I will like pull back or eat more. Uh, pretty much like I've had about like the same amount of hunger feeling um, every day for the most part normally by like the end of the night I try to get to bed early so that like you know I'm not like starving because come three o'clock if I stay up past like two I turn into a gremlin I just want to eat everything and every single thing in the house so um, goal is normally for me to not be up that late and to get to bed at a reasonable time um, so it's 6 30 right now i'm gonna take a shower clean up i have to do some client work some client check-ins today and then um i'm gonna run to the grocery store and uh grab a couple things that i'm missing so i mean room's kind of a mess right now all i really have is just a big bed a nice little you know tv tiny little tv i barely watch it but only at night before I go to bed. And my messy, messy desk covered in candy and mushrooms. So I'm about to hop in the shower real quick, but I figured I'd uh, show the post-workout physique. Uh, so I have been leaning out for a little bit, but it's not like Coda wants to play so bad right now. Uh, I'm always so flat after I train because I just fucking deplete all my glycogen and you know but I guarantee you like later tonight like I'd say it'll probably be like 12 1 o'clock right before I'm about to go to sleep I just fucking fill up like I I'm just walking around and I'm like holy fuck I feel so full I look in the mirror and it's just a fucking completely different beast it would help that I shaved a little bit too but you know physiques like things coming together you know little by little make it happen but not bad for about a month and a half on a cut almost two months now I really want to see more back progress um, you know I want to get my back leaner really because I just I rarely ever get to see my back lean but it is cool to see you know like new veins serratus always comes through really really hard um, but it's like please fucking play with me like my mom Coco, release. Hey, release. Good girl. <laughs> Fucking crackhead, man. A little better. Grocery shopping fit. We're gonna see if people give me weird looks. As you can see, we progressed a lot. I picked up a lot more than I actually need. Now to be 118, a little heftier than uh, you know I wanted. I really wanted it to be about like, I really wanted it to be about like, um, you know, like just under 100, like 80 bucks. But uh, I bought some like extra stuff because you know I only come here for protein, and then I buy everything under the sun. Typically, protein, is it? protein is the most expensive grocery to buy anyways. Especially here because of all these like massive families and shit. 
and they just gobble up like literally every single ounce of food here. It's incredible. Not all bad out here, you know, it could be worse. Definitely could be a lot worse, but uh, I don't know. Where are my keys? No, I am looking at places in, in Austin and Denver, but I'm not sure which route I'm gonna take just yet, but something along those lines. We'll see. Big ass grocery haul. So pretty much all these foods I find to be extremely useful and I eat them very frequently. Let's start. Well, first I gotta just say, so I got uh, fat-free Fairlife milk because this milk, 80 calories, 13 grams of protein and uh, six grams of carbs compared to like literally any other, any other milk brand, 13 carbs, if it would focus. If it would focus, 13 carbs, eight grams of protein, zero fat. So most other like milk brands are gonna be around this, like the carbs are gonna be higher. So I like Fairlife just because it's like the carbs and the proteins are swapped pretty much. Very good option. It's a little more expensive. Like two of these is like, what is it? One of these is the price of like one of these, but you know, whatever, macros. Um, but of course, like this is like just, uh, oh my God. I drank a lot of milk, I don't know if you could tell, but this is a uh, fat-free skim milk, same thing. 80 calories, eight grams of protein, probably like 13 grams of carbs, but milk is essential for me. I go through a fuck ton of milk, so I gotta get more protein. Those. Honestly, this is pretty good. I know a lot of ghost products are overhyped, but the Oreo was pretty good. Um, and Synthesis 6 Vanilla is the best tasting vanilla protein in the world, if you disagree with me. Don't watch my video. Actually, you can still watch my videos, but you just, if you disagree with me, you know, throwing you to the dogs. She's so pissed. All right, so that should be in frame here. I hope. Let's do that. <laughs> so, of course, I already have some peaches and bananas over there, but it doesn't hurt to get more because these are gonna take a couple days to get ripe. So I grabbed more bananas, three more peaches, because there was a, a sale going on with the peaches and I'm obsessed with peaches. And I grabbed some raspberries because I don't know, I was in the mood for raspberries. But fruits are like, oh, fuck, I forgot to pick up vegetables, man, damn it. I'm obsessed with fruits, but apparently, you know, I don't like veggies too much, I don't know. But fruits and veggies, I always have about a cup's worth of veggies every single night with dinner, sadly. I forgot to grab veggies. See, I went to the store to get literally protein sources and veggies and I come out with everything else, plus the protein sources, but no veggies. So if that ain't, you know, a grocery haul, I don't know what is. Yeah, so cereal, because I ran out of cereal, obviously. So I have these, but you know, these were on sale, so I got another box. So I, I still have a bunch left, so I'm just gonna dump these into this, because you know damn well, they ain't filling these boxes to the brim. Yeah, clearly. Clearly. Literally fit in really two boxes in one of them. Look at that. <laughs> Sell this big ass box and that looks about right. Yeah, so Rice Krispies fruits, obviously, protein sources. So I, uh, I'm obsessed with red meat, so of course I got some more ground beef. I got some steak. Uh, what is it? Top sirloin steaks. Looks fairly, you know, fairly fat, fat free. Um, I actually don't know the macros on this, but I could always just look it up. You can just kind of look at it. You can see the marble. You can tell how much fat's really sitting in the meats. Um, so fairly fat-free meat. This is a flank steak, top round flank steak, same thing. I always go for these because you can get like a pound. Like this is nearly a pound for like six bucks. Totally worth it. Like after you cook this, this is supposed to be a pound, one pound. But after you cook this, you know, you're probably gonna have as much meat as this, so very good option. This is six bucks while this was like seven. So you know, like good, if you wanna have like smart protein choices, definitely get like top round or flank steaks. I get them all the time. You just have to cook them really quick, like on the pan, like on the fry, on, on the pan for like two minutes, flip it two minutes, throw it in the oven for like a minute or two, and that's it. You don't wanna cook these long because they're very thin steaks. But this is gonna be delicious. These peaches are like just squishy on the outside. Perfect. They should be gushing. They should be juicy as fuck. Nothing's better than a juicy peach, man. I'll tell ya. I'm gonna miss these because... Oh. Oh. 
nap at the cheek, man. <clears throat> I was saying I'm gonna miss these because uh, peach season goes out soon, so. You know, soon they're gonna be all shitty peaches. Mmm. Oh. Love the look of just a full as fuck fruit bowl, man. Nothing brings me more pleasure. Late at night, you know, I get hungry, so I like snacks and shit. Picked up some cottage cheese. Not everyone likes cottage cheese, man. I personally enjoy it. I think it's a great source of protein. Literally one cup's worth is 26 grams of protein, so, hey. And then you pair it up with some pineapple. A little, little secret from Matt Ogus, but um, I've always liked cottage cheese. I never thought to throw pineapple on it, but the combo is banging. So I usually have that, and then I have like uh, a whole bag of popcorn, and that usually, you know, puts me, uh, Puts me through for the rest of the night. Some jasmine rice, Uncle Ben, super quick and easy. Um, apparently there is a rice rice cake shortage. Um, I like the actual rice cakes, but I'm settling for the rice crisps. I don't, it's not really that big of a difference, but you know. All right, so I'm not like a huge fan of eggs, but you know, eggs, good for cooking and stuff. And you know, sometimes I'm in the mood for eggs, so it works out. <clears throat> More protein. Lean ground turkey, 99 and 93. Um, I didn't see like a massive difference between the two, but picked them up anyways. You're gonna throw these right into the freezer. So I'm a person that is like obsessed with condiments. So let me see, yeah. So I picked up, I was talking to Ryan Dangler and he recommended, he said this is better than um, Grandpa Hughes, you know, actually I don't think it's, Oh, I guess I ran out of it. But I'm a big fan of Ray's, like barbecue. Like I have the, this is 15 calories by the way. I have the regular Sweet Baby Ray's that's 70 calories per two tablespoons. This is 15 per two. If this tastes good, man, I'm gonna keep getting this. I am just a fiend for condiments. So like literally, this is only five calories less than regular ketchup. But to me, because I use so much fucking ketchup, it'll save me like 100 calories. So, <laughs> so, uh, it's worth it for me. If you don't, if you don't like obsessed with condiments, I would not worry about like five calories. But to me, it'll probably save me a good load of calories, so I can enjoy other foods. More yogurt. Picked up more vanilla yogurt, and this is just another thing of cottage cheese. So all good protein sources here. Some good carb sources. Um, and lastly, lastly, I picked up uh, some fat-free cream cheese. I'm curious to see how this tastes because, uh, I mean, it's 30 calories per, per serving, so one ounce, two tablespoons. Zero fat, four carbs, three protein. I mean, overall, it just sounds like beautiful macros. I'm curious to see how it tastes because if it tastes like, like shit, man, I'm, I'm just gonna use regular cream cheese and like, you know, like enjoy my bagels, but. You know, they can take away my Jersey bagels, but if they take away my cream cheese, man. I don't know what's gonna fucking happen. We'll see how this tastes. And I also got 2% milk, 2% um, milk Kraft singles. So these are like, it's just like lower calorie. Instead of five grams of fat, it's 2.5. I think there's even lower calorie options, but I couldn't find them. So I just picked these up for shits. And I think that's about it. And then I picked up a knife set. Oh, and Diet Dr. Pepper because literally this shit like I have I have crazy like sweet like sweet tooth cravings and I can't be eating sour strips all the time so a Diet Dr. Pepper usually fixes that real quick. Good thing I'm a good cook because I was cutting steaks with butter knives and that shit was fucking annoying. It was like a, if you want to get strong grip strength like don't worry about doing like the the clamp crunches just cut steaks with butter knives man. I can't believe I didn't have steak knives for this long. But now I do! Not my taters again, because uh, they got a little cold. I'm going to house those motherfuckers so hard because I get hungry all the time now. Like, I literally just ate a good dinner, like, 700 calorie dinner, and I'm like, fucking still hungry, man. <laughs> I know 700 calories doesn't sound like a lot. I need to actually eat a little more volume. So maybe I'll have, like, a big salad um, to pair it up with these potatoes. And then, uh... And some popcorn. <laughs> Reason I went to that store is so I can do exactly this. Mm. Worth it. Under $18. Worth it. 
All right, and now <clears throat> I have a couple check-ins I have to do today, so I'm going to do the rest of those and um, kind of wind down for the rest of the night. But yeah, that's pretty much sort of like, kind of like a day, you know, sort of a day. You know, th this was more of like a relaxed day, <laughs> I will say. I've had way more stressful days than this. Fuck, dude, I'm getting fuller. Yeah, so that's pretty much, you know, a normal day that I'll have. And, uh... Yeah, I didn't do a ton of client work today. I did have a couple calls this morning, but um, yeah, that's. Uh, I, I don't know what I'm trying to say here. I'm just trying to say this is kind of like, you know, <laughs> I think this is what I'm supposed to be doing. Thank you for watching. I appreciate you guys. I want to be more consistent with YouTube videos, so I am looking into like finding, like, you know, some gym buddies or friends or possibly a girlfriend that will help me record in the gym. And, uh, you know, I'm trying to get that all set up, but it would really help to have like, you know, a cameraman or someone to help me record because I'm mostly alone a lot of the times. So it's, uh, it's tough, but we're working on it. We're getting there, but I appreciate you guys for watching. Um, remember to like, subscribe, you know, comment, you have any questions. Uh, I will say I have been getting a lot of, I will say, uh, I have been getting a lot of, um, gear questions and assumptions going on so i think next video it is just about time to talk about you know to talk about it um i'm gonna go into i'm not gonna say exactly what's going on but i want to have a little gear talk next video and uh, if you guys are interested let me know in the comments all right peace